Good evening. Welcome to the Senior Awards Ceremony for the Class of 2020. Tonight we have the opportunity to honor the achievements and the accomplishments of the Class of 2020. 13 years of school, four years in high school, and the last three months have been very interesting and very challenging. But throughout, the Class of 2020 has been positive and worked hard. They sacrificed a lot the last three, three months to make sure that their fellow peers, classmates, and families were safe, as well as the entire Cheyenne community. Never complained, they moved forward in a positive manner and finished strong. Parents, family members, thank you for all the support you've given your student, as well as the East High School community. And with that being said, let's move forward and celebrate the achievements of the class of 2020. Thank you and congratulations. Now our East High School singers will sing a national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets reckless, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave? Or the supporter of Laramie County School District number one in East High School, Mr. Rich Riederspahn, who is a trustee on the board of Laramie County School District number one. I want to thank him for being able to share some of his thoughts with us tonight. Mr. Riederspahn. Hi, I'm Rich Riederspahn. I'm a member of the Laramie County School District number one board of trustees. It's really an honor for me to take this opportunity to congratulate all of our seniors in the hard work that they've put in throughout their educational careers. I hope you have great plans coming up in the future, and I know that you look forward to the future with great anticipation. The only advice that I could give you is that I would hope that you would always believe in yourself and try your best to be better tomorrow than you were today. Again, I just wanted to take this opportunity and say congratulations to all of you, and I wish you the best in the future. Take care now. And now to present our athletic awards, our athletic director, Mr. Jerry Schlaps. It's Senior Awards Night. We've been watching Disney Plus for 12 hours. we got to clean up this mess and go! Hello, Thunderbird Nation. Sorry for the delay in getting here. Uh, we've cleaned up our mess, and we're ready for one of the best nights of the year, our Senior Awards Night. Um, although it's a little bit different this year, it's still one of our favorite uh, times to celebrate the amazing class of 2020. Um, I'm going to start out with the athletic portion of the uh, evening by recognizing some outstanding student-athletes at East High School. But before I do that, I just want to say how proud I am um, of all of our seniors and our entire school uh, for the way they've overcome adversity and rallied during this pandemic. And I want to thank you for all your hard work, Class of 2020. I know it wasn't a perfect ending to your 
four years at East High School, but we can't thank you enough for everything that you've done and brought to our school um, during your time as a Thunderbird. Um, best of luck in the future, and uh, let's get on with our awards. We will begin by recognizing our senior outstanding athletes. This award is voted on by the East High coaching staff and is given to student athletes based on many factors. From being a multi-sport athlete, the number of letters received, all conference and all state recognition, character, or other special recognition our athletes have received during the year. We have many athletes that are deserving of this award, so we'd like to recognize our nominees as well as our winners. This year, outstanding athlete nominees are Cole Michaeli, Hayden Lamb, Nathan Mead, Julian Yates, Maddie Blaney, Dulce Carlos, Kai Buell, Erica Ferris, and Ruth Potter. And this year's senior outstanding athletes are Chance Allmiller and Amira Cummings. Congratulations. We would now like to give out the T-Bird Scholar Athlete Award. Our coaching staff elected to select an athlete that excelled in his or her sport, but even more importantly, put forth tremendous effort in the classroom. The recipient of this award is a true leader in the classroom and in their sport. This year we have two very deserving athletes. This year's recipients are Nathan Mead and Lance Rotifer. Next, we'd like to present the Leah Joyce Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is a $1,000 scholarship that was established by the Cheyenne Board of Realtors Realtor Family Fund honoring Leah Joyce. Leah was a very active and involved student both at the East High School and in the Cheyenne community. On August 28, 2001, the day before she had started her junior year, Leah died in a car accident coming home from Denver. This scholarship in honor of Leah is given out annually to a senior student or students who possess the same attributes of Leah. They must do well academically without necessarily being a straight A student. They must be a student active in school sports, not necessarily the star player, but a true leader and team player, a student involved in school clubs and functions, and also a person involved in the community. With that being said, we are very proud to announce this year's recipients, Ruth Potter and Erica Ferris. Both Ruth and Erica will receive a scholarship in the amount of $500 each. And a special thanks once again to the Realtor Family Fund for providing this opportunity for our East High students. Next, we'd like to present the Rick Lewis Memorial Award. Rick Lewis was a very active student athlete at East High in the 80s. He led her in football, basketball, and track and was very active in many other school activities. After suffering a football injury, subsequent surgery was required. Complications developing from the surgery took Rick from us. A group of friends and family came together and created a memorial scholarship in his name. It was to be awarded annually to an East High student athlete who excelled athletically and academically and was very active in other school activities and in the community. The coaches, council, and counselors worked together to select the recipient of this award. This year we are pleased to present the award of $500 to Hayden Lamb. The next award we are pleased to present is the Coaches Council Scholarship. This award recipient is a student athlete who excelled athletically while exhibiting the attributes that East High School values and holds dear. Passion, compassion, hustle, determination, and enthusiasm. The, coach, the Coaches Council selects the recipient of this award. This year we are pleased to present an award of $500 to Dulce Carlos. We'd now like to present our White Letter Awards. To qualify for a White Letter Award, an athlete must have completed 11 sports seasons and lettered in 9 of those seasons. This is a tough accomplishment considering the demand that is put on these athletes in each of the sports that they participate in. Many of the sports that these young men and women participate in take up their time on a year-round basis. This year we are proud to present five White Letter Awards. Our White Letter Award winners are Mira Cummings, Cameron Johnson, Maddie Blaney, Hayden Lamb, and Nathan Zastapol. The last award that we are very excited to present is the Thunderbird Award. The Thunderbird Award recipient is a student athlete that exemplifies the traits of what we believe in East High a Thunderbird to be. A great leader, friend, hard worker, and person that leads by example. A person willing to put it all out there and leave it all on the field or court. A person that dares to invest everything without guarantee of achievement or recognition. Someone that puts the team before themselves and a person of great integrity and character. We are pleased to present this year's awards to the following very deserving recipients, Maddie Blaney and Aiden Martin. Congratulations and congratulations to all of our 2020 Athletic Award recipients. We will be getting together with the award recipients to give them their awards at a later date, so we'll be getting in contact with you. A great job to all these kids and congratulations to the class of 2020. 
Now our student council president, Michael Swadecki, would like to share a few words with everybody. Michael, thank you for your hard work with the entire school this past year. Your leadership was greatly appreciated. Good afternoon, East High Seniors. It's a little unfortunate that I can't be telling you all this at the actual Senior Awards Night, but I'm glad that I still get to say it anyways. I just wanted to give a big congratulations to all of the graduating seniors. Your hard work and perseverance has truly paid off over these last four years, and I hope that you'll continue to work hard in the future. I know that this is a weird time in our lives, which will surely be remembered for decades to come, but if all of us keep embracing that same determinative spirit, then we will also get past this obstacle too. I hope that everyone can see this unfortunate circumstance as a sign that we can always get past whatever comes our way, and I hope that you all take that lesson with you into your future. Again, I'd just like to say that all of you deserve a round of applause for your accomplishments, and I hope to stay in touch with many of you as we complete this journey and embark on a new one. Thank you for your time, East High. And now, Senior Class President Nolan Gerdes would like to share a few words with everybody. Nolan, thank you for all you did for the Senior Class and for East High School. I hope everyone, especially all of the seniors and their families, are staying safe and healthy during this time. I miss everyone and I'm sad to the thought of not having our official last day of senior year where we leave every other class in the dust. It has been an absolute pleasure to serve as the president for the class of 2020 and one of my most rewarding accomplishments during my high school career. As the administrators will surely mention, this is a remarkable class. Within its ranks, are several individual state champions and members of a state championship within the wide array of activities available to us at East. To whomever fills my position and the rest of student council for that matter, good luck as you have large shoes to fill all around. As president, I listened and tried to get what my class wanted. I attended events to make a presence and I represented my school in a positive way. I expect those in office next year to do the same. That being said, don't let the sophomore class beat you in a pep rally. Again, what a pleasure it was to represent such a diverse class. Until our hopeful graduation, take care, and I will see you all then. Good evening. My name is Tommy Kress, and I'm here tonight to uh, represent the Echoes Office as the assistant principal. And I'd like to thank first off Mrs. Shellhoffs and Mrs. Cathcart for making the night possible. They're the ones that put all the hard work and time along with Mr. Slabs into collecting your work and uh, putting this program together for us. Um, it's an exciting time. It's different this year, but for the next three weeks, this starts actually the celebration of graduation and all your hard work. And we just want you to know that this has been an amazing class. You've accomplished huge things throughout your career here. And um, we're excited to celebrate with you between now and graduation. Congratulations. Well, we'll go ahead and get started. And we're going to start with the Echoes office. And the first student that we'll recognize is Joe Alonzo. Joe has enlisted in the Army National Guard. He is also lettered in DECA. Isabel Anaya. Isabel is planning to attend Laramie County Community College, studying nursing, and she also lettered in cheer while at East High School. Christian Anderton. Christian is planning to attend Shadron State College. He's receiving the Rick Lewis Memorial Scholarship, the Eagle Presidential Scholarship, and he's lettered in football, outdoor track, and indoor track. Riley Bash. Riley is planning to attend the University of Wyoming and study civil engineering. He's receiving the Hathaway Merit Performance Scholarship, the Cowboy Commitment Scholarship, and he is lettered in ROTC. Sydney Bell. Sydney is planning to attend the University of Wyoming. She's going to study and major in pharmacy. She's receiving the Cowboy Commitment Scholarship, the Hathaway Merit Scholarship, the Excellence in Academic Achievement Award, the Gold Congressional Award, the High West Energy Scholarship, and she is lettered in orchestra, academics, math, 
and G Team. Alyssa Bilia. Alyssa is planning to attend Laramie County Community College. She's on the LCCC Dean Scholarship. She's receiving the LCCC Hathaway Scholarship and she is lettered in FCCLA. Aria Blaylock. Aria is planning to attend Laramie County Community College and study English. She's enlisted in the Colorado Air National Guard. She's receiving the LCCC Presidential Scholarship, the LCCC Hathaway Scholarship, and she's lettered in cross country and indoor track. Caden Brown. Caden is planning to attend the University of Wyoming, planning to start with general studies. He's receiving the Cowboy Commitment Scholarship, the Hathaway Merit Performance Scholarship, the Gold Congressional Award, and he's lettered in tennis, soccer, and indoor track. Vance Bryan. Vance is enlisted in the Wyoming Air National Guard. We're always proud of our students when they choose to serve our country. McKaylee Buell. McKaylee is planning to attend Western Nebraska College. She's receiving a full athletic basketball scholarship, the Western Nebraska Early Admissions Scholarship, and she is lettered in basketball, volleyball, and track. Marcus Burrell. Marcus is attending Laramie County Community College, where he plans to study theater. He is lettered in speech and debate. Laura Caps. Laura is planning to attend the University of Wyoming, where she will be studying psychology. She's receiving the Hathaway Merit Scholarship and is lettered in diving. Haley Cassidy. Haley is attending the University of Wyoming and planning to study theater. She's receiving the Cowboy Commitment Scholarship, the Hathaway Merit Performance Scholarship. She's a 4.0 GPA and is lettered in academics and theater. Katie Castle. Katie is planning to attend Sheridan College and study kinesiology. She's receiving the Sheridan College Hathaway Scholarship, the LCC Presidential Scholarship, the Cheyenne Frontier Days Scholarship, the Warren Spouse Club Scholarship, an athletic scholarship, and she is lettered in soccer, basketball, and DECA. Alec Clark. Alec is planning to attend Laramie County Community College. He's receiving the LCCC Presidential Dean Scholarship, the UW Hathaway Merit Opportunity Scholarship, and he is lettered in basketball. Octavia Claypool. Octavia is planning to attend the University of Wyoming. She's receiving the Richardson Family Trust, the LCCC Dean Scholarship, and she is lettered in drama and band. Brooke Colt. Brooke is planning to attend the University of Wyoming, where she will be studying political science. She's receiving the Cowboy Commitment Scholarship, the Hathaway Merit Performance Scholarship, the Excellence in Academic Achievement Award, the Academic Recognition Scholarship, and the Federal Work Study Program. Amira Cummings. Amira is planning to attend Concordia University in Nebraska. She has been awarded the UW Cowboy Commitment Scholarship, the UW Hathaway Merit Performance Scholarship, the Regents Academic Scholarship, the Women's Track and Cross Country Scholarship, Excellence in Academic Achievement Award, and she is lettered in G-Team, Indoor Track, Outdoor Track, Tennis, Dance, and Weights. Spencer Dayhill. Spencer has enlisted in the Army National Guard. He's also receiving the Holy Trinity Youth Education Scholarship. He is lettered in indoor track and soccer, 
and we are always so proud of our students when they choose to enlist and serve our country. Sarah Day. Sarah is attending Northwest Nazarene University, and she's planning to major in ministerial uh, in ministry. She's receiving the ministerial scholarship, and she is lettered in choir and indoor track. Raven Durr. Raven plans to attend the University of Wyoming, where he will be studying journalism. He's receiving the Cowboy Commitment Scholarship, the Hathaway Merit Performance Scholarship, the Hathaway Needs Scholarship, the Cowboy Need Grant, the Federal Pell Grant, and he is lettered in cross country and indoor track. Jasmine Dirks. Jasmine is planning to attend Cheeks Beauty Academy at Laramie County Community College, where she will be studying cosmetology. Throughout her time at East High School, she is lettered in basketball and soccer. Madison Green. Madison is planning to attend the University of Wyoming. She has been awarded and study marketing. She has been awarded the Cowboy Commitment Scholarship, the Hathaway Merit Performance Scholarship, the Equine Management and Evaluation, she's Equine Management and Evaluation Certified. She's a member of the Women's Civic League and she is lettered in FFA and DECA. Hello, I'm Fawn Bartlett, Associate Principal and Principal of the Horizons Office. I'd like to take this moment to introduce Mr. Sly Johnson and Mrs. Sheila Luna, who are uh, very important people in the office. And as you know, they do lots and lots for their you students. And they are there and they are constantly looking out for you and taking care of you and keeping me on track. I'd also like to thank you guys for the pose that you have shown through this pandemic and the um, fortitude you've shown we've done the online learning and that you've never given up and you've been leaders and shown the underclassmen how to stick with it and get through this and we're very proud of you and we want to congratulate all of you and take some time to go over your awards and your achievements thank you we would like to recognize the students of the horizon office starting with clara hallberg Clara will be attending Northern Arizona University. She is the recipient of the Wilhelma Miller Memorial Scholarship, the Northern Arizona University Blue Chip Full Tuition Scholarship, Cowboy Commitment Scholarship, Hathaway Merit Performance Scholarship, and she lettered in orchestra and band. Cameron Johnson. Cameron will be attending the University of Wyoming He'll be studying computer science. He's the recipient of the Cowboy Commitment Scholarship, Hathaway Merit Honor Scholarship. He's enlisted in the Army National Guard, the Army National Guard Tuition Assistance, and lettered in cross country, indoor track, and outdoor track. Elizabeth Kidd. Elizabeth will be attending the University of Wyoming where she'll be studying veterinary medicine. She's the recipient of the Cowboy Commitment Scholarship, Hathaway Merit Performance Scholarship. Good Knipper. Jordan will be studying, will be attending Minot State University. She is a recipient of the Excellence in Academic Achievement Award, the Minot State University Academic Scholarship, Minot State Soccer Scholarship, Holy Trinity Catholic Church Scholarship, and she lettered in basketball, soccer, and academics. Dylan Curry. Dylan will be attending the University of Wyoming and he lettered in swimming. Hayden Lamb. Hayden will be attending the University of Wyoming. He's the recipient of the Cowboy Commitment Scholarship, Hathaway Merit Performance Scholarship, First Presbyterian Church Scholarship, and he lettered in football, indoor track, outdoor track, and weights. Hunter Listman. Hunter will be attending the University of Wyoming and studying business. He is the recipient of the Cowboy Commitment Scholarship, Hathaway Merit Performance Scholarship, Women's Civic League of Cheyenne, and lettered in golf. Aiden Martin. Aiden, Aiden will be attending Laramie County Community College and he lettered in wrestling, football, and soccer. 
Nicholas Martin. Nicholas will be attending the University of Wyoming. He'll be studying chemistry. He is the recipient of the Cowboy Commitment Scholarship, Hathaway Merit Honor Scholarship, and he lettered in math, TV, TV, and academics. Shane Miller. Shane will be attending Laramie County Community College and is the recipient of the Laramie County Community College Dean Scholarship. Lucas Mizell. Lucas will be attending the University of Wyoming. Lucas is a recipient of the University of Wyoming Trustee Scholarship Award, Pathway Merit Honor Scholarship, and he lettered in football, wrestling, and cross country. Nathaniel Moore. Nathaniel will be attending the University of Wyoming and studying mechanical engineering. He is enrolled in the Wyoming Air National Guard and he is a recipient of the Cowboy Commitment Scholarship, Hathaway Merit Performance Scholarship. Jaden Mosier. Jaden will be attending Laramie County Community College and studying communications. She's a recipient of the Dan Finning Memorial Scholarship, the Laramie County Community College Dean Scholarship, and Laramie County Community College Hathaway's Performance Scholarship. Madeline Offit. Madeline will be joining the Air Force. She is enlisting in the Air Force and will be studying criminal justice. She lettered in band. Now I'd like to introduce some members of our faculty who are going to, who are going to present some of the outstanding student awards for their content areas. Hey Thunderbird Nation, Chief C here from ROTC. On behalf of Lieutenant Colonel Peoples and myself, it is my honor to announce that Cadet Colonel Riley Bash and Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Frankie Munson have been selected as this year's outstanding top male and top female seniors for Air Force Junior ROTC. This year, Riley served as our Operations Group Commander, our Black Watch Regimental Guard Commander, and a member of our Color Guard drill team. Frankie served as our Information Management Personnel Officer and as our Cyber Patriot Computer Defense Team Commander. Their outstanding leadership abilities, unique motivational qualities, and their willingness to lead from the front directly contributed to our unit being selected as a 2019-2020 Air Force Junior ROTC Distinguished Unit. Congratulations to Cadet Bash and Cadet Munson and congratulations to all our 2020 graduates. Hello class of 2020, I'm Ms. Terrell. And I'm excited to announce that our Math Outstanding Seniors of the Year are Ruth Potter and Lance Rodefert. Congratulations to you two for your hard work and your love of mathematics. And the math department would also like to thank all seniors for finishing strong. You guys are awesome. Welcome to the art section of the Senior Awards Night. Tonight, we're going to be presenting the coveted Art Student of the Year Award. I've got the names right in this envelope, and I'm going to pass them over to Ms. Crank. And the envelope became magic. Students chosen for the Art Student of the Year Award had to fit several categories. Excellent grades, excellent art, artwork recognized outside of school, and an excellent work ethic, and participation in multiple art classes. I'm passing this magic envelope down to Ms. Nicole Cameron. All right. And the winners are, drum roll please. Taylor Green and Jocelyn Arambula. Woo! Congratulations! The music department would like to recognize Levi Brown and Clara Hallberg as our outstanding seniors. Levi Brown is an incredibly talented young man. He has natural talents in music and leadership, 
Levi uses his talent in a way that elevates the standard for himself and others. He learns music very quickly and is always willing to help others do their best. His attitude and energy are contagious. All of these qualities make Levi an essential member of the East High Music Department and his outstanding example will be missed once he has graduated. Clara Hallberg has achieved many accomplishments and honors as a music student at East High. She has been the principal cellist for East High's Chamber Orchestra, the Cheyenne Youth Symphony, and the String Ensemble at LCCC, and was a member of the 2019 All-State Orchestra. This January, Clara was a member of the National Honors Performance Series High School Orchestra in New York City, which performed in Carnegie Hall. Clara began studying the French horn last year and is a valuable member of the East High Band program this year. Congratulations and good luck Clara and Levi, this year's outstanding senior music students. Hola a todos, I'm Preston Duran, Spanish teacher, here to recognize Sydney Bell, a student in my AP Spanish 5 class. Her good work ethic and superior Spanish skills led me to select her for our outstanding female world language senior of the year. Congratulations, Sydney. Muchas gracias. Hola, I nominate Nathan Mead for being an outstanding senior in Spanish class. Nathan always maintained a positive attitude in my class. He was self-advocating and above all, he was a leader. Enhorabuena, Nathan. Hello, class of 2020 and congratulations. My name is Mr. Allen and I'm the Ag teacher at East High School. I'm going to recognize a male and female in our program who have excelled, but before I do that, I would also like to recognize my entire senior class. You guys are some of the strongest leaders that I have had the pleasure of working with over the years. So congratulations, and I really look forward to seeing where you guys all go. Our female I'd like to recognize is Katie Smith. Katie has not only served our chapter as president and vice president over the last couple of years, but she's also been successful in competing at the local, state, and national levels, where she was able to place sixth place in the nation in her agri-science fair project. She did all of this while maintaining a 4.0 GPA and taking some of the more difficult classes at East. Our male I'd like to recognize is Chance Butler. Chance has great character and he has been able to be successful in our program in showing goats, poultry, and competing in contests like environment, natural resources, and poultry evaluation. Congratulations to all of you guys and good luck. Hi there, class of 2020. Congratulations on your graduation. I'm Mrs. Eldridge and I'm here this evening to represent the Family and Consumer Science Department. Our job was to select two outstanding seniors from our department. And after giving it much thought and some discussion, our department has chosen two outstanding seniors, one male and one female. We would like to award this year's outstanding female senior to Abby Chisholm. Abby has taken many of our foods courses and all of our early childhood courses over the past four years. Abby's been an excellent student in our department, an outstanding role model to her classmates, to the little ones we've had on site and out in the schools where she's been working with um, district teachers and, and elementary students. Uh, Abby's going to be an outstanding teacher someday, so congratulations. Our outstanding male student is going to be awarded to Matthew DeBono. Matthew has taken all of our foods courses. He aspires to be a culinary chef one day. He's been outstanding. He's taken courses from all three of us. Um, we all agree um, that he is our outstanding male student for our department. So to all of our seniors, we are going to miss you immensely. Thank you for everything you've done to contribute to our department over the past four years. Congratulations on all of your accomplishments. Congratulations on all of the awards you're receiving this evening. And again, congratulations on your graduation. We wish you all the very best. Yay, you did it. Congratulations, class of 2020. My name is Ms. Quick with the Health Occupations Program. We have selected Megan Weidler and Nathan Zastapol as our outstanding seniors. The two of you were selected for your hard work and dedication in the healthcare classes and with Skills USA. You both did an amazing job in the classroom with your practical skills 
and with your national and state wins with Skills USA. I am so happy to have been part of your high school journey. I know that both of you will do amazing things in the future. Good luck. Congratulations, class of 2020. My name is Mr. Eldridge and I'm representing the Tech Ed Department tonight. The stories you'll have in years to come are unbelievable with going through this COVID crisis that our nation, our world has encountered. So you guys have encountered and went through some tough things and the sky's the limit for you. So congratulations on this great feat of graduating. As I mentioned, the Tech Ed Department tonight would like to recognize two young men for outstanding growth and commitment to our program. First student is Mr. Carl Brennick. Carl is an outstanding young man who has worked diligently in our welding classes as well as the ag classroom. Uh, he's been very involved and we're, we're excited to see where Carl ends up. He has a passion for welding and, and is just an overall great person. The second person we're honoring tonight is Mr. Hayden Hancock. And again, Hayden is another man that just is a, a true example of what good character is all about. We've been very lucky and fortunate to have these two young men in our program. We're excited for them and can't see what the future has to hold for them. Congratulations to these two young men as well as everyone else. Please enjoy the rest of your evening and the time with family and friends. I am Stacy Kramer, and on behalf of the English department, I would like to congratulate Shane Miller as an outstanding senior in English for his dedication, perseverance, curiosity, hard work, positive attitude, and genuine demeanor. Shane always tried his best, was not afraid to ask questions, exhibited beautiful written work, and instilled kindness in everyone around him. Congratulations, Shane. I cannot wait to see what the future bestows for you. Hello, uh, this is Charles Fournier, and on behalf of the English department, we would like to recognize Katie Smith as well as an outstanding senior in English. Uh, Katie is kind. She is very thoughtful in class in terms of how she interacts with her peers and how she approaches her work. She has very, very original thought, which is always exciting to have in an English classroom. And she articulates herself very well uh, in trying to express her opinions. So congratulations to Katie. Uh, we really look forward to seeing what you do in the future. Good evening, East High School. And I hope everyone is ready for the summer. Before we um, let the East High School seniors move on to their future endeavors, the East High School Social Studies Department wants to congratulate all East High School seniors. Our efforts as teachers would not be possible without the wonderful, compassionate, and dedicated students of East High School. We thank all of you for your hard work and commitment in what has been a very historic year. Also, since this is 2020, my son is graduating this year, and I would personally like to give a shout out to Elliot Hemingway, your parents wish you the very best. Before I announce the East High School Outstanding Social Studies Student of the Year, I would like to say a couple of remarks regarding this student. On a daily basis, this student came to class prepared and ready to learn. She challenged all of the social studies department and made us better teachers due to her commitment and dedication to learn. This student participated in numerous activities and programs that showed an unbelievable commitment to her high school career. Most importantly, the student participated in the U.S. Senate PAGE program um, for a semester in Washington, D.C., working closely with U.S. Senator Mike Enzi of Wyoming. And lastly, this student had an unbelievable work ethic, a profound sincerity, and a willingness to improve herself. These traits, among many others, are largely why she is recognized as the East High School Outstanding Social Studies Student of the Year. Therefore, the East High School Social Studies Department recognizes Brooke Colt 
as the Outstanding Social Studies Student of the Year. We wish you the very best in all of your future endeavors. And to all of East High School, thank you for making this the best year possible. This is Hemingway, checking out. Hey everybody, it's Mr. Sively coming at you semi-live from the Corona Bunker um, here at the fabulous Senior Awards Banquet Ceremony. And it is my pleasure and honor to recognize the male student who the Social Studies Department has chosen to receive um, the award from our department. And that student is Cole Michaeli. And Cole is a great young man who works really hard in class. He's taken social studies all four years of his high school career and um, taken AP level for three of them. He's worked really hard to um, establish himself as a solid citizen in the social studies department. And you can always count on him to um, motivate the class to get, get, get moving and contribute to conversations in class. So. Um, congratulations, Cole, and have a good evening. Congratulations, seniors of the class of 2020. You made it, even though it was kind of a difficult semester, but you guys did it. Congratulations. So I'm Mrs. Beckman, the Science Department Chair, and I am pleased to announce the Outstanding Science Male and Female that was voted on by the department. The male for science is Nolan Gerties, congratulations. And the female is Ruth Potter, congratulations. Hopefully you guys do great things and we are proud of you as a staff. Hello, I'm Mark Kirshner, Assistant Principal of the Spirit Office. And I just wanted to take a few moments. I, I uh, have the pleasure of working with Mrs. Wolf and Mrs. Recibo. And I just want to thank them for all of the hard work they put in and everything they do for the students of East High School. Um, they do an amazing job and I'm sure you students can appreciate all that they've done for you. I know uh, that it's very important. I'm really excited about this virtual ceremony because it's really important that we celebrate the accomplishments and the achievements of our students as far as academics and activities are concerned. And I can tell you that we've, we've been in the building for quite a few weeks now without you students and without a doubt it's the students and staff of East High School that make this the home of the Thunderbirds. Without you, it, it isn't quite the same. So congratulations, and we'd like to take a few moments to recognize all the achievements of our students. At this time, we'd like to recognize some of the students in the Spirit Office and their accomplishments, and we'll begin with Tanner Pace. Tanner Pace will be attending Laramie County Community College Accolades include the Cheyenne Frontier Days Memorial Foundation Scholarship, the David B. Ratterman Scholarship, and the LCCC Hathaway Opportunity Scholarship. Trenton Peterson. Trenton will be enlisting in the United States Marine Corps, and we're so proud of all of our students that have chosen to serve our country, so thank you, Trenton. Adriana Phillips. Adriana will be attending the University of Wyoming and she received the University of Wyoming Hathaway Scholarship. Grant Redman. Grant will be attending Laramie County Community College. Accolades include the Hathaway Merit Opportunity Scholarship, the High School Activities Association Scholarship, the Holy Trinity Catholic Youth Scholarship, Hope Scholarship, and Grant lettered in tennis, basketball, and baseball. Lance Rodifer. Lance will be attending the University of North Dakota and enlisting in the United States Air Force and also in the North Dakota Air National Guard. Lance has a 4.0 cumulative GPA and lettered in wrestling, cross country, academics, and assessment. Allison Roberts. Allison will be attending the University of Wyoming. Accolades include Excellence in Academic Achievement Award, Cowboy Commitment Scholarship, Hathaway Merit Performance Scholarship, and Allison also lettered in academics. 
Reagan Rockhold. Reagan will be attending Western Wyoming College studying criminal justice. Reagan will also be receiving the Western Wyoming College Theater and Dance Scholarship, and she also lettered in theater. Jesus Sanchez. Jesus will be attending Casper College where he'll study athletic training and music education. Accolades include the Willits Brewster Memorial Scholarship, Bob Butts Memorial Scholarship, Wilhelmina Miller Memorial Scholarship, Francis Smith Memorial Scholarship, Music Activity Scholarship, University of Wyoming Music Lesson Fee Award, University of Wyoming Music State Scholarship Talent Award, and Jesus lettered in football, indoor track, choir, and FCCLA. JC Sheets. JC will be attending Laramie County Community College. He lettered in outdoor track and indoor track. Katie Smith. Katie will be attending the University of Wyoming and is enrolled in the Honors College. She'll be studying elementary education with a minor in ceramics and Spanish. She achieved a 4.0 cumulative GPA. She'll be receiving the Cowboy Commitment Scholarship, the Hathaway Merit Honors Scholarship, the 4-H Wilbur Brettel Scholarship, the Excellence in Academic Achievement Award, the LCCC Presidential Scholarship, and she also lettered in FFA Academics and Assessment. Jasmine Snipes. Jasmine will be attending the University of Wyoming. She received the Hathaway Merit Opportunity Scholarship, the Richardson Family Trust, and she also lettered in cheer and dance. Brooklyn Soski. Brooklyn will be enlisting in the United States Navy. And again, we're so proud of our students that have, that have chosen to serve our country after they leave East High School. And so thank you, Brooklyn. Brandon Span Shields. Brandon will be attending Laramie County Community College and he will be studying psychology. Nicholas Stevens. Nicholas will be attending Casper College studying parametric technologies. Nicholas lettered in theater and IB. Braden Stewart. Braden will be attending the University of Wyoming. Accolades include the Cowboy Commitment Scholarship, Hathaway Merit Performance Scholarship, and Braden also lettered in Diving, Cheer, and DECA. Amanda Teague. Amanda has chosen to enroll in the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, where she'll be studying social work and pre-law. Amanda lettered in Interact Club. Addison Turner. Addison Turner will be attending the Utah Valley University. She also lettered in tennis, soccer, indoor track, and outdoor track. Trey Turner. Trey has chosen to enlist in the United States Air Force, and while at East High School, he lettered in swimming, orchestra, and ROTC. Bryson Vasquez. Bryson will be attending the University of Wyoming. Accolades include the Hathaway Merit Opportunity Scholarship and Bryson lettered in wrestling. Ethan Walsh. Ethan will be attending the University of Wyoming and studying music performance. Accolades include the Hathaway Merit Opportunity Scholarship, the University of Wyoming Music Lesson Fee Award, the University of Wyoming Music State Scholarship Talent Award, the Richardson Family Trust Scholarship, and Ethan also lettered in band and orchestra. Megan Weidler. Megan will be attending the University of Wyoming. She achieved a 4.0 cumulative GPA. Scholarships include the University of Wyoming Trustees Scholars Award, Hathaway Merit Honor Scholarship, Excellence in Academic Achievement Award, Richard A. Stockdale Memorial Scholarship, and Megan also lettered in Capitals Hockey. Zachary Wisenhunt. 
Zachary will be attending the University of Wyoming and studying microbiology. Accolades include the Cowboy Commitment Scholarship, Hathaway Merit Performance Scholarship, and Zachary also lettered in cheer, indoor track, FCCLA, and choir. Justin Woolsey. Justin will be attending Laramie County, Laramie County Community College. He received the LCCC Hathaway Honor Scholarship, LCCC Presidential Scholarship, and Justin lettered in Speech and Debate, TBTV, and Academics. All right, everyone, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I'm John Lieber, I'm the IB uh, Diploma Program Coordinator here at East High School. Before we get started on too much here, I do want to say thank you to uh, Zane Jacobson, the IB counselor, and Misty Whetstone, the uh, IB office administrative assistant. I greatly appreciate all of your efforts this year. Um, it's been an unusual year, to say the least, and things couldn't have gotten done without you guys. The other thing I do want to say to the IB graduates this year is that you guys have overcome some pretty amazing challenges and hurdles. I know that many of you are looking forward to be able to take in your external assessments with the IB office or with the IB program, but um, I would say that your perseverance, dedication, and hard work through this fourth quarter in many ways demonstrates work ethic and knowledge level that um, can't be demonstrated by, by any exam, whether it be an IB exam or anything. So you guys have really overcome some incredible challenges this year, and I'm proud to have been able to work with each of you, uh, and I know that you're all going to go on and do some amazing things, um, and, and this year will, will really provide you with an opportunity to look back and say, I've overcome some amazing challenges, and, um, and I really can't get through whatever life throws at me. So thank you guys. And with that, we're going to go ahead and move on to uh, recognizing those IB seniors in the, um, with their accomplishments for the Senior Awards Night. Brody Klein. Brody is attending Dort University. He received the Dort Academic Scholarship, the Cowboy Commitment Scholarship. Brody also received the UW Hathaway Merit Scholarship. He lettered in golf, IB, academics, debate, and basketball. Nolan Gerdes. Nolan is attending the University of Colorado at Boulder. He will be studying mechanical aerospace engineering. Nolan received the Cowboy Commitment Scholarship, the Hathaway Merit Honor Scholarship, the Excellence in Academic Achievement Award, he also received the University of Colorado Boulder Presidential Scholarship, the International Association of Machinists and Aerospace Workers Scholarship, the Holy Trinity Youth Scholarship Fund, and Nolan lettered in Soccer, Tennis, IB, Student Council, and G-Team. Janet Jacobson. Janet is attending the University of Wyoming. He received the Cowboy Commitment Scholarship, the Hathaway Merit Performance Scholarship. He lettered in golf, G-Team, DECA, and IB. Amelia Lorenz. Amelia is attending the University of California, San Diego. Amelia received the University of Wyoming Trustees Scholars Award the Hathaway Merit Scholarship, the Gold Congressional Award Scholarship, the University of Denver, Denver Merit Scholarship, the Colorado State University Western Undergraduate Exchange Award. Kirsten Lucy. Kirsten is attending Shadron State College. She received the Theater Scholarship, and she lettered in Drama, DECA, FBLA, and Dance. Nathan Mead. Nathan is attending the University of Wyoming. Nathan, Nathan is going to be studying, the, studying mechanical engineering. Nathan had a 4.0 cumulative GPA. 
He received the University of Wyoming Trustees Scholars Award. He received the Hathaway Merit Honors Scholarship and the Excellence in Academic Achievement Award. Frances Munson. Frances is enlisting in the Air Force and she lettered in Cyber Patriot. Fox Nelson. Fox is attending the University of Wyoming. Fox received the Cowboy Commitment Scholarship, the Hathaway Merit Honors Scholarship, the Hathaway Needs Scholarship, the Daniels Fund Scholarship, the Gear Up Opportunity Scholarship, and he lettered in choir and in math. Logan Otto. Logan is attending the University of Wyoming. He is studying computer science. He received the Cowboy Commitment Scholarship, the Hathaway Merit Scholarship. He lettered in band and math. Ruth Potter. Ruth is attending the South Dakota School of Mines and Technology. Ruth received the Cowboy Commitment Scholarship, the Hathaway Merit Honors Scholarship, the University of Wyoming Trustees Scholar Award, the South Dakota School of Mines and Technology Copper Scholar Award. She lettered in Math, Academics, IB, Orchestra, Swimming, and Assessment. Brooklyn Prince. Brooklyn is attending the University of Wyoming. She will be studying molecular biology. Brooklyn had a 4.0 cumulative GPA. She received the University of Wyoming Trustees Scholar Award, the Hathaway Merit Honors Scholarship, the Excellence in Academic Achievement Award, the Holy Trinity Youth Scholarship, the Gold Congressional Award Scholarship, the University of Arizona Distinction Award, she lettered in diving, cheer, math, assessment, and academics. Haley Purifoy. Haley is attending the University of Wyoming. She received the Excellence in Academic Achievement Award, the Congressional Award for Youth, the Hathaway Merit Honors Scholarship, the Cowboy Commitment Scholarship. Haley lettered in girls basketball manager, IB, Book Club, Assessment, and Academics. Grace Rajewski. Grace will be attending Arizona State University where she will be studying biological sciences. She lettered in soccer and tennis. Olivia Shoemaker. Olivia will be attending the University of Wyoming Olivia received the Cowboy Commitment Scholarship, the Hathaway Merit Honors Scholarship, Excellence in Academic Achievement Award. She lettered in tennis and academics. Madison Terry. Madison will be attending the University of Wyoming. She'll be studying nursing. Madison received the Hathaway Merit Performance Scholarship, the Cowboy Commitment Scholarship, she lettered in dance, cheer, IB, weights, and math. Nathan Zastapol. Nathan will be attending the University of Wyoming where he will be studying biochemistry. Nathan had a 4.0 cumulative GPA. He received the Cowboy Commitment Scholarship, the Hathaway Merit Honors Scholarship, the Holy Trinity Youth Education Scholarship, the GFWC Women's Civic League of Cheyenne Scholarship. Nathan lettered in tennis, indoor track, soccer, Skills USA, and G Team. This year's Nick and Vita Mirage Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Christian Anderton. Congratulations, Christian. Now I want to present Ms. Barb Wolf. Uh, counselor here at East High School, and she's going to present the Laura Coltis Award. Hello, graduating class of 2020. I am presenting the Laura Coltis Memorial Scholarship. Ms. Coltis was a beloved East teacher. She worked imaginatively to teach her students more than just what was found in the government and history curriculum. Ms. Coltis wanted her students to learn something about themselves, 
about how to think, how to make informed decisions, about morals, ethics, core values, and what they were willing to stand up for. It is with honor that I present the Laura Coltis Memorial Scholarship to Fox Nelson and Saga McAllister. Congratulations. And here are the nine students that are in a 4.0 at East High School, their first seven semesters at East. Great accomplishment, congratulations. Haley Cassidy, Erica Ferris, Nathan Mead, Kekalani Miller, Brooklyn Prince, Lance Rodifer, Katie Smith, Megan Weidler, and Nathan Zastapool. Happy trail, happy trails to you. Happy trails to you until we meet again. Happy trails to you. Keep smiling until then. Who cares? about the clouds when we're together just sing a song and bring the sunny weather happy trails to you in closing class of 2020 your future is very very bright congratulations and good luck in your future endeavors
right now Can we survive it out there? Can we make it somehow? I guess I thought that this would never end And suddenly it's like the women and men Will the past be a shadow that will follow us round? Will these memories fade when I leave this town?